Two, three, testing. One, two, three. All right, guys, we're back. And in this video, I will not be talking about ALS or C++ or even uh, I won't be talking much about uh, the Unreal Engine itself. We're going to go. We are going to go to the assets uh, marketplace and we're going to look at some assets. Uh, there's an asset that I was wanting to review for a while. It's been in the marketplace. Well, it's been at the marketplace since uh, May 9th, uh, 2020. It seems to have a lot of positive reviews. A lot of questions have been answered. Also, uh, 134 written reviews. That's actually pretty good. Okay. And it seems to be updated. Okay, so I just want to talk to you guys about how do you know when to buy an asset and why should you buy an asset? There, there are a lot of reasons why people should buy assets. Okay, uh, the first reason being is that you want to save time. A lot of people, uh, when they're new and they get into game development, they don't necessarily know what to do or they don't have enough time to develop their own mini systems inside of the game engine that they're using. So assets seem to be a way for people to uh, try to develop without so much headaches. Now, today we are going to talk about some of the pros and cons, not with a uh, Ascent Combat Framework, but with assets in general of what you should know and things that you should understand so let's look at this asset first it's what we call a plugin it's a code plugin so unlike the templates that you may see that are full projects this is not what it is number two it's not a blueprint only project oh <laughs> my phone went off that's funny it's not a blueprint uh, only project it is actually a C++ and blueprint project as you can see uh, there are actually 101 blueprints and there are 105, 154 C++ classes. Now, what's also interesting is that it says it's replicated. Okay. So we're looking at it and we, we want to, when you're trying to buy an asset, you have to look at it. You have to look at the price, of course. If it's within your budget, maybe if it's not, you should wait. But remember, have if it's if it's a little bit of a pricey asset, go ahead and make sure that you have your game design done, your game documents done. Make sure you have a bulk of it done, like your design features. So that way you can see if you actually need the asset or not. Now the asset says easy. Uh, easily create your own high-end action RPG with little to no coding multiplayer supported okay so I think off the bat what this means is uh, probably means that you don't have to dive into the C++ you can just use the blueprints the whole time uh, if you're referring that way and I think that's what it's probably referring to uh, we can look at the pictures and we can see that from the from the pictures that there's actually some pretty cool gameplay there's actually some pretty cool things that are going on it's got a, uh, a craftables right here it's talking about required items uh, you can ride on a horse uh, let's see right here it's got AI and uh, multiplayer also it's got fluid melee combat that it says and a triple a animation controller okay so uh, fully functional sample uh, also is provided cool and let's see optimized ai groups so for battles you can also do optimized ai groups so it seems to me already off the bat that it's got a lot of stuff but you have to remember does it fit your game design if you're making something like mario possibly maybe it's not going to fit because it is a combat framework okay so maybe you should look at uh, other uh, assets out there, or maybe it will fit Mario, the Mario or the game style that you're fitting. If you just tweak a few things, you have to consider that. Now it's got a C++ base, which means that 
which which means that you could probably go in there and change some of the code if you wanted to if you're a programmer which means you could probably dive deep into it and see if there are certain things that you don't like that you can change now remember anytime you get something like this uh, from the asset store uh, chances are it's not going to be uh, I would like to say it's not going to be catered to your game because in respects to the developer who's developing this they don't really know what kind of game you're making so they kind of say hey this is a combat framework for an rpg creator so if you're making an rpg this is really good because it has a way to make really good combat so if your rpg needs really good combat you've got to get this asset so some of the things that you can think about is throughout the market when you're uh, buying an asset, that means that you're dealing with somebody else's code, okay? So there's some stipulations with that. There's pros and cons with that. You always have to keep this in mind. It's one of those things that I didn't know when I went out and bought a bunch of assets before when I was new, I didn't know. But some assets out there, you, you just don't know about. Now, keep in mind, a lot of the assets in the marketplace so uh, a lot of them i would say are good for actually learning to see how ue works quite frankly i think that if i had some money and i wanted to um see how a combat system works and how maybe an example uh it, it would be i would i would i would i would buy i would buy this system and i would use it or i would just try to use it in my game but it seems to be pretty thick so you are going to need to have some knowledge about Unreal Engine. So if you stick with my channel, maybe you will be able to understand Unreal's uh, gameplay framework and then go ahead and buy something like this to help you to complete your game in a minimal amount of time. You know, a year, six months, depending on what kind of game you have in your experience. Now you have to keep in mind when it says multiplayer, it supports it. But that also means that you still need knowledge about how multiplayer works, how replication works, when to add it in your code. And this, this is something that you need knowledge about. You cannot just jump into it and automatically think that everything's going to be working correctly and fine. It's multiplayer, remember, it's something that you have to maintain, the client and the server. So let's just go down here and see what it all comes with. So of course you get to go to the discord channel it says you get an acf ultimate uh sample project that's nice you also get um you you also get uh to go to the discord channel okay and uh it also the, this acf ultimate sample project it, it it's if you have the acf uh, combat framework and the ascent tools together then you will get this sample project so that's pretty cool so <clears throat> if you don't understand how to put all of this together uh, you will just get a sample project and I'm telling you right now your the sample project is the sample project is going to be the ticket into understanding this framework okay now let's go down and let's look at some things here. It seems to be that it was updated to 2.0 and there's a trailer. So you should uh, you should watch that. You should actually watch the trailer, try the demo, look at the official website, look at the uh, integrations, integrations, and, and just go ahead and try to scam the, and, and try to look through here and scan it before you buy it. Now, here's the interesting thing. It comes with a generic character controller. That's cool. <clears throat> so it's telling me that uh, the locomotion is there. That's what it means. And it's also coming with a generic action system. That's even cool. That's really cool because you can create actions in the game. It's pre-built and they're already done C++. It comes with a curve driven animation system. That is really nice. That is really nice uh, working with curves and stuff like that in your animations. Another thing is also that it has an item and inventory and crafting system wow okay also comes with an ai framework and companions oh okay if you look at other assets in the asset store uh they probably aren't going to come with a companion right 
And so that's gonna be something you have to make and AI groups. So that's cool. You get that inside of here. Now look at this statistics and RPG framework ARS. Create your stats and attributes. Okay, so you have a stats and attribute system. That's great. And I think that he actually sells this separately. So if you're willing, if you don't want the full system and you can code other things, you can actually just use the ARS, the stats system for your game, which is which is cool because it's modular. That that means that it's modular to me. Also, the collision manager, ACM, it seems like it's also the same way. It's a collision manager, but of course you could buy it separately. Targeting system, ATS, also you can buy separately. And a camera manager. And also, um, there's also a CAS system for combined animation system and execution. Oh, well, that's cool. That's, that's really great. All this already is in this uh, framework. So if you want to learn or you want to include it in your game, it seems like this is kind of the thing for uh, y you can look at and try to see how unreal games are made. Another, uh, let's see, another thing in here is you have the mount system. Now, if anybody's ever tried to build a mount system, you would know how much detail is involved in it. And especially since this uh, since this system doesn't look like it was easy to build, uh, it looks like something that uh, you could probably quickly test a horse riding system, quickly test your ideas. Spell and magic and music and also a new automatic save system. So he's actually adding new stuff to his system. That's great. And another thing is that we can look at is that there is uh, <clears throat> code modules inside of here. And you can see that where it says runtime, 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 that, that's good because these happen at runtime. That's great. Okay. So what you want to do with something like this is do your research. Go to the wiki, see how the framework works. Um, maybe you can go to the Discord and ask a few questions. Look on here and look at the questions that people have asked, right? Look at the reviews that people have made and I guarantee you that you will come to the conclusion if you need it in your project or if you don't. And don't be afraid if you're not, uh, don't be afraid if Unreal is a little too hard for you in the beginning and you don't feel like this is worth it. Maybe when you get more uh, acquainted to, uh, acquainted to uh, Unreal, then you will be able to use something like this in the near future or showcase a quick prototype with it okay so this is uh my review of the ascent combat framework and maybe in the future since i have uh the framework now i will uh show you guys how to use it and i will do my research on it and i will show you guys how to uh start with the sample and how you can turn the sample maybe into something like this, uh, even though maybe it's a little thick and you just don't know how to get around. So stay tuned, guys. And this is my first asset review. So <laughs> go easy on me, guys. And let's just remember to work together and let's grow together. And as a community, I believe that everyone will be successful. And no matter what your game looks like, if it doesn't look good, uh, if you're scared to publish it, just hit that button and publish it. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe because it helps my channel. And I just want to help other indie developers develop their products. So maybe in the future, I can also do reviews about Unity assets and how they work and do a review of some of the uh, top assets in the unity store. So guys, I just want to thank you have a good day and just take care and love your family and uh, Thank you for listening to me today And I appreciate every one of you guys for coming to my channel and hitting that like and subscribe and let's just grow together Okay, take care. Bye